today we're going to talk about a topic that often gets overlooked in discussions about narcissism, the enabler. It's a role that's often misunderstood and carries a significant impact. Enablers, in essence, are the unsung architects of the narcissistic dynamic. They're the ones who inadvertently prop up the narcissist's toxic behavior. It's crucial to realize that they frequently find themselves caught in a complicated web of their own, driven frequently by fear, guilt, or deep-seated need for approval. Let's delve in to the psychology of an enabler. Often they come from backgrounds where they've learned to prioritize others' needs over their own. There's a deep-rooted belief that their role is to caretake, fix problems, and maintain harmony. This people-pleasing tendency makes them susceptible to the narcissist's charm and manipulation. There are several types of enablers. Some are codependent, seeking validation through their roles. Others might be trapped in a cycle of fear, believing they'll be the next target if they challenge the narcissist. And then there are those who simply refuse to see the narcissist's toxic behavior. I remember a time when I fully realized that a close family member of mine was and still is an enabler to his covert narcissistic partner. For some reason, I thought his intelligence would keep him more safe, but his partner sank her hooks in further when he retired. He's somewhat shy, but we would see him jump if she wanted anything. Then one day he called me. Being uncivil and sounding exactly like his partner. Something I hadn't experienced before from him. I finally heard his partner's whisper in his ear. And I ended up having to hang up on him. For some reason, I felt devastated that he had fallen victim to becoming her flying monkey or enabler. I felt so bad for him, but... It's important to emphasize that enablers are not intentionally malicious. They often genuinely believe they're helping, but their actions inadvertently reinforce the narcissist's behavior, perpetuating a cycle of abuse. Breaking free from the enabler role is challenging, but essential for personal growth and well-being. It involves setting boundaries, prioritizing self-care, and seeking support. It's also crucial to understand that enabling is not a sign of weakness, but rather a coping mechanism developed in response to complex emotional dynamics. Remember, you are not alone. Many people find themselves in this role and there's hope for healing and recovery. By understanding the dynamics of enabling, you can begin to break free from the cycle and create a healthier life for yourself. Do you feel like you're constantly getting in your own way? Do you set goals, then find excuses to not follow through? Do you feel an invisible force is stopping you from achieving your full potential? You're not alone. Millions of people struggle with self-sabotage the subconscious patterns that keep us stuck. But there's good news. You can break free from this cycle. That's why I created the Break Free from Self-Sabotage course. In this course, I'll guide you to identify your self-sabotaging patterns. Learn to recognize the thoughts and behaviors that hold you back. Understand the root causes. Discover why you self-sabotage, and how to address those underlying issues. Develop coping mechanisms. Equip yourself with powerful tools to overcome self-doubt and negative self-talk. Finally, achieve your goals 
build the confidence and self-compassion needed to create lasting change. Don't let self-sabotage steal your dreams any longer. With practical tools, guided exercises, and expert insights, you'll learn to rewire your mind and take action towards your goals. Your unique destiny is waiting for you. Don't let self-sabotage hold you back. Subscribe for more empowering content and let's break those barriers together. The link is in the description.